Okay, YouTube. Todd here again. Some guitar guy. First off, and as always, thanks for watching. So, a quick video here. I sat down to uh, uh, tonight to do a, uh, a cross country uh, again that uh, I plan on um, possibly, likely flying tomorrow. <clears throat> and I've had this idea because of this uh, really kind of aggravating nav data out of date error message and i've researched it since i've had x plane uh for i don't know over a month i guess now and the only real solution i found both on youtube and forums was to pay this monthly subscription fee which is not outrageous i suppose of 10 bucks but uh you know really kind of annoying so i kept looking and kept looking and uh finally found a uh, a way to do that so you see you know unpause just to show we are live so yeah she's idle flow but um go back to pause and uh you know the the error message is actually there so i have to give credit where it is due and that is with this video from about a year ago so I'll link it in the description also, but basically the method is to go to this FAA site. This is for the U S only. Um, and I don't even think it's going to cover Canada. Um, but if you're in another country, um, maybe this will work for you, for your version, your country's version of the FAA. So you see here, there are two files available. This file was the one I downloaded that expired today. So this file is the one that takes its place. It's there. Uh, these files are updated every 28 days. So we're going to do it live and cross our fingers. Hope it works again. It worked last time. So I'm just going to download the zip to, I'm just going to do it to my desktop. Okay, so that is there, and let's open. Uh, you see all my files, stupid pictures of me. Uh, now, let us find it. Maybe that was, okay, there we go. The, C the CIFP Coded Instrument Flight Procedures. So let us open and this file, the FAA CIFP 18, we want to copy and then let us go to custom data and let's just see if it'll replace Ooh, that's right, but we want to we want to retitle it to. There's probably an easier way to do this. Earth underscore four two four dot dat. Um. Let's say yes. Let's delete this one. Let's rename this one, get rid of the two. Enter, close, close. Probably be good to um, read those readmes. Um, now the error message is still there and unpause it just to, so let's shut X plane down and restart it. <clears throat> and see if it worked. Uh, I guess we could just resume last flight. Okay. 
Come on. Here, my fan kicking on. Crossing the fingers. And it looks good. The error message is gone. It's reading current data. And uh, yeah, I can get on with uh, can get on with my cross country. So uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if this uh, works in explain 12 or not. I don't see why it wouldn't. But uh, let me know you guys uh, thoughts and comments. Uh, please remember to do the YouTube thing. And until next time.